Allow me to illustrate the consequences to decision making when assumptions have been violated. Let's imagine that you have been trying to reach me on my cell phone all day long. But every time you call, your calls go to voicemail. After half a dozen calls, you're pretty angry with me because you assume that when your calls are coming in, I see your name and number and I hit the button on the side of the phone to send your calls to voicemail. And of course, it's no wonder you'd be upset about that if I was deliberately avoiding your calls. However, when I see you later on that day and you tell me that you've been trying to reach me, I explain to you that something really weird happened last night. Normally, I charge my phone overnight, but last night I forgot. And when I woke up this morning, my battery was at 4%. And so I plugged it in before I went to work, thinking I could get a little bit of a charge before I went to work. I'd grab it and I completely spaced it. In fact, I haven't had my phone with me all day long. That's why I've been missing your calls. You made an assumption. You incorrectly assumed that I was avoiding your calls. And the conclusion that you drew based on that assumption was likewise incorrect. Every statistical test that we are going to learn about is built on certain assumptions. If the data that you have violate the assumptions of the test, you may still be able to run the test, but the conclusions that you draw from the test based on that data will likely be incorrect. Therefore, it's important that we know what the assumptions are for parametric tests, and then we be able to examine our data to determine whether our data set meets those assumptions. There are two assumptions that are easy to fix because we can work on those during our research design. If something isn't going according to assumption, then we can easily roll to a different type of test. But there are four assumptions that must be met after we have done data collection. Those require a little more effort to fix. Let me explain what the assumptions of most parametric tests are. And I'll add that there may be additional assumptions for specific other tests. But as we arrive at those, I'll explain what those assumptions are, and you will already know why it's important to make sure those assumptions have been met. The first assumption for parametric testing is that we have interval or ratio level data for our dependent variable. In short, we want to make sure that when we are doing our research design, that we are measuring something we are using a validated tool to measure an underlying construct on a scale. The second assumption that we can meet during research design is independence of scores on our dependent variable. There shouldn't be any confounds or covariates. Those are things we could check later. But if we do not have independent scores, it is very easy to fix during research design because we do have dependent measures tests. There are other assumptions that we can only check once we have data, such as we should look at our dependent variable to make sure that there are no outliers. There's no extreme scores, and if there are, we'll need to fix those. Parametric tests assume a complete data set, that there are no missing data that could skew the conclusions that we draw. There's an assumption about normality, which I'm going to explain in greater detail, and an assumption of the homogeneity of variance of the groups that we are measuring. I'm going to walk through all of those assumptions in greater detail, but let me explain what can go wrong when our data don't match the assumptions of the test that we're using. We can make errors, specifically, Violations of test assumptions can bias the test results. We can make type one errors where we find statistical significance where it doesn't exist. We say that something is true when it's not. Or we can make type two errors in which we miss an effect that is truly there. Therefore, it is vital that we understand the assumptions of the test that we're going to use and make sure that our data meet those assumptions.